Hi all, so today is 10 days post chemo and um, I've not been vlogging to you because quite honestly I've not been um, in a fit state. It's not that bad but I was just miserable for a little while. I don't like feeling sick. I didn't like it during pregnancy and I definitely don't like it now. But the good news is it's getting better as they all said it would. So. I've been taking all my tablets, as you know, and trying to eat every snack every hour or so. Um, things like flat peaches, grapes, quavers are going down a storm. Never have a Weetabix when you're going through chemo. Oh my world. Uh, I thought I was feeling better. I had a Weetabix, which I've had for breakfast for the last 30 years, and it's my staple, but oh, not for the next six months. So apologies, Weetabix. It's very good for you, but not when you're feeling nasty. Um, so what's been happening? Other than that, I've been sleeping a lot. I've been catching up with work um, and they've been incredibly supportive, but I've wanted to keep going to keep my mind occupied. So that's been, been good. And I've had a few incidents. I've had a, a throat infection. So that was the first thing that happened, um, which they mentioned could do. So I've been brushing my teeth um, after every single meal and using mouthwash, but um, really sore throat. So I had three, four days that I couldn't speak to my children's delight, um, not to mention my, my wife-to-be. Um, so that was interesting. We had to go and have another assessment um, at the oncology centre just to check that my uh, medicines were okay, and they were. They put me on stronger anti-nausea tablets, and that's, that's working. And then... Um, Yesterday we had um, an interesting incident. So as part of rebuilding um, the cells uh, on the chemo that I'm on, there's lots of different versions. The one that I'm on, there's something called um, GCSF and it's um, an injection that you put into your fat bits. So that's very easy for me um, uh, on a night time. And some of the side effects, it basically rebuilds your bone marrow. I'm no medic, as you know, but it rebuilds your bone marrow. And the last night uh, before last, um, I took it and then got excruciatingly debilitating pain in my spine and shoulder blades and across my chest. Um, read all the, the guidance and there was nothing that said that this was a side effect. So it was quite a challenging evening, um, difficult to move in absolute pain. So we ended up calling the oncology centre, which is what you do. They advise us to call 999. Um, and the ambulance took us in. We were assessed um, brilliantly by A and E, uh, uh, straight into your, your own area. Obviously, in terms of your immune system, got assessed very quickly. Um, and turns out that I have a unique side effect to this injection um, in relation to how it's reacted with my uh, my bones, my spine. So. The good news is they gave me some more medicines and that's now fine. Last night I uh, had a great sleep, felt super and there's been no reaction to it. But uh, it was a shock. Uh, the kids were hilarious because they got to stand in the ambulance that are just on the ramp. So as mummy was uh, being taken in in the morning, they were just on their way to school. So they, they got to bragging rights at school that they'd stood in an ambulance, which was quite nice because I was more concerned that they might be upset. But they weren't upset about me. They were very happy about bragging rights. So that's kind of the ambulance trip say so all all is fine um i am still tired i am still nauseous but actually feeling a million times better day 10. Um, i'm just about to go for wig fitting so that's the excitement and just to prove that i'm an ultimate planner here is the chart of all my drugs all the days and everything i need because i keep forgetting which drug on which day at which time and when so i've done a little chart to keep me going because i'm a planner anyway um off for my wig and I shall keep you updated. Take care. Bye.